it is Monday morning and it's about quarter to ten to seven. So I had a lion. Football was on last night, it's quite noisy. They didn't finish up till five past ten past eleven. Um the pub did get quite quiet though after the winning score. So that I'm quite pleased about. So again, another late night, which we expected. So because I'm on the late shift today, I've actually had a lion, so I didn't get up to about half past six, which I think my body quite appreciated after a couple of late nights. So I'm up, I've got a coffee, I'm gonna go for a walk, start the day and get ready for this week, which is going to be a little bit different. So it's Tuesday morning, I'm gonna go out for a just really short five, 10 minutes, and then I can get back, maybe myself some quick breakfast to take them a go, and head off to work. Um, I didn't get up till half past five, which I might need to set as a bedtime, because 10 to five, I'm really struggling with at the moment, so I've gotta have a play of with that. But for now, let's go for walk. It's coffee. She's making a noise at me. So I've been doing these walks for quite a few weeks now and I'm still enjoying them. It's still nice to get out. But one of the things I definitely struggle with is the waking up in the morning. When I'm out, I'm fine. It's that waking up. But because of the constantly changing shifts of my job and the need to be on call pretty sharpish. It means that for setting a wake-up time, it has to be consistent, but it has to be early enough that I can meet the early need, the early shift, and not really have a lie-in. So that's where I'm kind of facing the challenges at the moment. Um, but I'm gonna be trialing a few things this week and see how it goes. So it's about eight o'clock in the morning. I I'm just getting ready to leave the house for work. Now, I didn't do my walk this morning because we went out for a bike ride instead. Um, so I swapped my workouts around. I did my physio last night and I did my cycle session today because I'm on the late shift. It meant that I could get up and do it in the morning. And I've always found that I do better when I do my workout in the morning than in the evening. So what I'm gonna do is I've mixed it up. I've been out for a cycle, so we've still kind of been out, just not necessarily for a walk. But I might just go and take a bit of a walk tonight um, instead. So then I can still get a bit of movement done. So yeah, no walk this morning, but there will be one later. So it's Thursday morning and I'm out for another walk. I've got a coffee and a visitor. And Chris is coming for a walk with me today. I didn't go for a separate walk yesterday but I did walk on the way home um, so that was quite nice and it was just quite fun to walk home the weather was nice and it was all good so every walk on the path we're gonna go hunt down some squirrels and see how many we can find today Ten past six on Friday and I'm just up but I'm not going to go for a walk yet because I'm going to take you for a walk somewhere else later and show you something a little bit exciting. Okay so I said earlier that I wasn't going to be going for a walk this morning. Now there was a reason behind that. This is the Headington shark. Yes you are seeing a shark poking out of the top of someone's roof. Um, <laughs> so I, I wanted to show you this because it's just something really nice about Oxford as well as all the wonderful wonderful buildings that you can see as well. Um, but also there's, there's a really nice story behind it so if you're interested in finding out a bit more go and do a quick google search on um, 
the hunting of the Headington shark. I will see if I can find one and pop it in the link below. But yeah, so I didn't do my walk this morning. Instead, I took a little bit of a walk past to go and see Sharky, which was quite fun. And then managed to help someone out um, and then headed back into town to grab myself a coffee and head home before the next part of my journey.